until a disaster occurs, and then we quickly look for a solution that only uh, solves the problem at that particular time, or in some instances, doesn't even solve it. An honorable speaker, when I say this, I'm just thinking back, uh, reflecting back to the last two weeks, when we had a situation where the expressway was flooded and we could not be able to access it. And yet, if we had such an authority in, in, uh, within the county of Nairobi, they would have been able to actually analyze situations based on historical data that we have to be able to know whether or not uh, something is going to happen or preempt issues that are going to happen. Honorable Speaker, especially during a time when we have so many climate change issues, and the climate change issues that we have range from different counties, and different counties experience different types of issues. Like, for example, Honorable Speaker, when I speak about my county in Nyamira, the disasters and risk management issues that are in that county would probably be very different from another county like Mombasa. And so having these uh, particular authorities customized to the specific counties is very progressive. And Honorable Speaker, I want to also um, believe that once this is established, that uh, the people who will be part of these uh, particular authorities will be able to go back into the history of the different types of disasters, the different types of risk associated with the areas that they, are, uh, they, they, they govern, so that they can be able to actually customize them according to their areas. Honorable Speaker, of particular interest for me is part three of the bill, where it talks about classification of disaster plans and electronic information system. And why I like this, Honorable Speaker, is because with time, and the fact that we are very much in the technological space, we need to actually customize our bills to be able to bring in an aspect of IT. Because, Honorable Speaker, without data, you will not be able to even um, have a clear view of what you're dealing with. You need data, Honorable Speaker, for you to be able to even make a, com a, a comprehensive report and for you to be able to even speak to other people who you want to be able to assist as well. Honorable Speaker, I also like the part that in part two of, um, of part three of uh, the electronic information system, that it also mentions that this data will be accessible to the public. And not only that, but that also they will ensure that Data Protection Act of 2019 is taken into consideration. Because Honorable Speaker, again, for as much as we want our people to be able to access data, we must also safeguard them. But in uh, having said that, we cannot safeguard ourselves too much to an extent that we are stifling innovation. And Honorable Speaker, I'd just like to throw a spanner in the works in terms of this particular bill. Because I've gone through it, but I've not seen any aspect of AI. And what I'm talking about, Honorable Speaker, is for example, the current issue we have with the, our fertilizer. If we had a drone-based system in this country that would have been able to quickly analyze the fertilizer that we're receiving, analyze the soils, um, figure out what the pH of the soils is, and be able to determine note-to-note um, uh, -note in terms of what you want to actually put in different soils, then we'd not be having this kind of problems. And so I just want to urge all of us, when you are coming up with these very progressive bills, like this particular one, we should also always include an aspect of AI. Because artificial information, Honorable Speaker, is very important. We cannot ignore it anymore in this country. And it also just helps us to make our work easy. And so I just want to encourage um, the person who sponsored this bill. At the time of amendments, when the amendments come, and we bring in amendments that are relating to IT and information system, that they do allow us to bring in some of these progressive ideas. Honorable Speaker, with those very short remarks, I do support. The Honorable Member for Kwanzaa, Honorable Ferdinand Wanyonyi. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I raise to support this bill. I think it's very important that uh, we establish uh, units or departments in uh, both that can be, be able to correspond with whatever happens in the county. Um, currently, Madam Speaker, you will see and uh, from the experience, 
At times you find something has happened in the, in the county and you know you find there's no spark up either from the government or from the, um, the county government. So if we have uh, set up uh, a coordination, a, a departmental unit, that will be able to deal with whatever disaster that we'll be able to have. You never know, one of which is, uh, for example, we have these uh, floods. The floods sometimes affect areas. And then, of course, you are as a member of parliament, you don't know whether it should come to you, and you don't have that kind of money for emergency. When you involve the county government, they equally say they don't have that kind of thing. But if you have that disaster um, management uh, unit, will be able to assist. We have cases where, for example, a bridge is broken because of the flooding or whatever disaster it is. Madam Speaker, you find yourself in a very awkward situation. As a leader, you don't know who to refer to. Had a case, for example, of a flood covering almost four, no, there were two, there were two wards. I didn't even know what to do because when I called my counterpart, I called my governor, and he said, but where do I get the money from? I didn't even have that as well. So, Madam Speaker, it's, uh, this is quite appropriate, and I think what we should do is to have this uh, risk management bill passed as soon as possible so that you can be able to allocate whatever funds are going to be there and give the guidelines as to how to use that fund. Because, of course, if you just put it there, um, it's so that you have, uh, if there's any emergency, you have got the central government through the member of parliament or women rep involved, plus, of course, the county government, so that it can be a secondary to the expenditure of such uh, funds. Those risk management, uh, Madam Speaker, um, risk management uh, bill, as I see it here, is something very, very important, and I think I request this House to pass it yesterday. Not today, not tomorrow, so that can be able to move faster and be able to deal with some of the disasters that actually occur uh, without uh, uh, giving a warning. Um, so I, I, I want to take this opportunity to uh, support this and I hope the House uh, can have this because we are members who are affected all the time. Even some of the small little things like a bridge or even a road. Uh, so you, you find that they are actually coming to you. And uh, if you have this kind of funds, you can be able to see how much each side and spent. So I support this bill. Thank you. The Honorable Member for Sigor, Honorable Locha Kapong. Oh, yes, yes. I'm told you're the mover, but you have your card. So you can actually... Yeah, leave, pull it out. Okay, thank you. The Honorable Edith Nyanze, member for Kitui West. Um, speaker, I would like to contribute to the next one. Thank you. The Honorable member for Kisumu, Honorable Shakil Shabir. Uh, madam, um, I'm actually beaten. I was just trying to log in. So I, I be excused, please. I, I don't have a contribution at this moment. The Honorable Member for Vihiga, Honorable Beatrice Adagala. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to also contribute on this bill. Uh, I, on, I, on, on the onset, Madam Speaker, I'll support this bill before I even talk. Because it has come at the right time, whereby we have several emergencies that have take place in the country, and especially our counties. You'll find, like my county, there is a disaster, a school has burnt down, or anything like uh, in the gold mines, they rush to they rush to the county woman MP looking for money to sponsor those kind of disasters. And Madam Speaker, in our, in our kit, as you all know, the women rep have no money.
to, to, do, to go towards such uh, disasters, like there was a case in one of the wards whereby the rains uh, caused havoc, so many houses were blown away, and people look at you as the count woman rep to, to go and give money for those kind of calamities, which we cannot afford to, to bear, Madam Speaker. So I think if this can be put into consideration, and also the county government plus the national government, we put our efforts together so that when we have, an, uh, uh, <clears throat> we have a, a kit for this kind of disaster when it happens. Like right now, you are seeing floods all over. Uh, houses are being swept. And now we have it very rough as members of parliament and especially the women reps.